Game tonight, the Lakers are favored by three. I feel like they'll win by two or lose by 20. Um, what is Denver doing so successfully that the Lakers have a hard time counteracting? First of all, they are destroying the Lakers on the offensive boards. And that's not just Nikola Jokic. It's their front line of Aaron Gordon and Michael uh, Porter Jr. Uh, constantly applying pressure to the, the Lakers uh, when it comes to rebounding. And you give this Nuggets team extra possessions, they're smart with it. You know, one of the easiest shots in basketball is a three-pointer off of an offensive rebound. Usually you're catching it in rhythm and you're wide open and also – the next thing I would mention is the Nuggets three point shooting has been much better than the Lakers. And that's not a surprise because the Lakers shooting really has been something that's come and gone over the entire season, both pre trade deadline and post trade deadline. But that said, game one's a six point game. Game two is a five point game. Game three, the Lakers have a lead in the third, in the fourth quarter, I should say, until the Nuggets go on a 13 0 run in a three minute span. In a blink of an eye, the thing's over. Uh, there are people within the Lakers organization that I was speaking to over the last 48 hours that certainly still are holding on to hope, still are holding on to belief, um, looking to go into game four, make something happen, extend the series, and you never know. And then, you know, I like what uh, the Joker said. He's like, hey, we got to keep going. They got LeBron. You know, you, you can't – unlike the Celtics, the Celtics I don't think respect the Miami Heat. They – Maybe Jimmy Butler, but they don't respect the supporting cast. You know, I, I like what Joker said. Hey, you know, we got to keep going. They have LeBron here. But this is a different LeBron that we've seen. He's relying on the three, and they're making him work at the other end. Um, how much does he have? Like, does he have that 40-point game in him or the potential for that now? I don't think that would be the Lakers' best recipe for success. Um thinking that that would be the way they would extend this thing. LeBron pulls a 40 pointer out of a, out of a hat. I mean, he was tremendous in the closeout game against the golden state warriors where he went for 30 plus, but that's yeah. the only 30 plus playoff game he's had since the 2020 bubble. Uh, his defensive efforts and impact on Nikola Jokic in particular have been remarkable. It's not, it's not like he's having a bad series in the overall sense um, but he is not the 40 point score he once was. And that's, listen, his peers are retired. Dwayne Wade is hosting uh, a game show. Carmelo Anthony just uh, hung it up. Uh, LeBron is still competing in the Western Conference finals. Um, that's no small feat, just making that statement. Yeah. Uh, but to expect him at 38 years old, 20 years into this thing, to be the 40 point score, I think you look to number three, Anthony Davis, who scored 40 in game one to be that guy.